And now it's time for another check on our first morning weather because we have a weather impact today because of the heat. Yes, and you know, as we look at our live camera behind us, that's a good camera shot because yes, today is going to be a good beach day. But you know, I also see the waves coming ashore. A couple yeah. of white caps out there because of the breeze. I see them crashing. But why aren't there more people on the beach? I don't get it. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot. Too hot. <laughs> <laughs> too hot for the beach. Well, it is pretty hot, that's for sure. Our heat index today is going to be up around 105, I think, by the afternoon. Here's WDSU first warning radar looking for rain. Not finding any now, but let's tap into our network of radars. We're actually able to access the National Weather Service Doppler radars from all across the country. And I show you this because coming up in just 14 minutes, right here on WDSU, the Indianapolis 500. Well, I think it's going to be delayed just a little bit. Not just rain, but a thunderstorm that's moving right toward the racetrack. They're going to have a couple of weather problems, but, and I was just looking at the latest data, they may postpone it for an hour or two. Maybe they'll even start to run at 1145. I don't know. They've got to wait for that storm to pass, but there are going to be some weather issues that they're going to be addressing here in the next hour to two hours or so. All right, our heat advisory is in effect until 8 o'clock Monday. It'll feel over 100 this afternoon. It'll feel like it's over 100 tomorrow. Our current conditions right now at Lewis Armstrong International Airport. 83 degrees with a dew point of 76. That's a pretty high dew point for the end of May. When you factor in the humidity, here's your feels like reading at 947 in the morning. It already feels like 92 in Hammond, 93 in Bogalusa, 92 the current heat index in Bell Chase, and it's only going to be getting hotter as we get into the afternoon. A disturbance bringing a couple of showers and clouds to the northern portion of Louisiana, but the high pressure system that's been just kind of sitting there in the Gulf for the last uh, 12 hours or so, bringing us a southerly wind as it makes its way farther to the east. The wind's increasing a bit. Right now the wind's at about 10 to 12 to 15 miles per hour, and that's how breezy it's going to be for the rest of this afternoon. Computer models have us in the low to mid 90s for the afternoon high today, as warm as 94 in a couple of spots. And again, the heat index 105, 106 quite possibly. Tomorrow morning, we're going to have a few more clouds and we may have one or two showers in the early morning hours for say Bogalusa or Hammond, but it would be a very light shower. However, we're putting the chance for rain tomorrow officially at 20%. We'll probably have a few scattered showers, most of them in the afternoon, but the better chance for rain coming with a cold front. And I know a cold front in the end of May, well, cold fronts really don't get much farther south than New Orleans this time of year. And what's going to happen with this front? It's just going to kind of sit on top of us, becoming stationary, bringing us a chance for showers Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It should wash out sometime Thursday, bringing us some slightly cooler and drier air. Not a dramatic cool down, but just not as hot as it's going to be today and tomorrow. Heat advisory in effect today, mostly sunny and breezy. High temperature is going to be in the low 90s, but a southerly wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mostly clear, warm, and muggy tonight. First thing in the morning, we're still going to be in the mid to upper 70s. And then tomorrow, we'll have that heat advisory again. It's actually in effect officially until 8 o'clock in the evening tomorrow. Mostly sunny with a 20% chance for an isolated shower. We're going to make Tuesday a weather impact day too because I still think the heat index is going to be well over 100 in the afternoon. But then late Tuesday into Wednesday, a 30 to 40% chance for scattered showers. Might even be bumping that chance for rain up a little bit on Wednesday as we get closer. And then it does get a little bit cooler for us and a little less humid with high temperatures in the upper 80s as opposed to the low to mid 90s. That's your WDSU first warning forecast.